This is the second in a series of videos designed to teach the basics of HTML. If you are new to HTML and have not yet watched the first video in this series, then you might want to go back and watch that video before watching this one. This video will introduce the break tag, the paragraph tag, and heading tags. It will also show you an easy way to test the various HTML tags. We'll start by going to littlewebhut.com. On this page, click the HTML tab, and that will take you to a quick tag reference. We're going to start by looking at the break tag, which is this tag right here, the BR. So I'll click that. This takes us to a page where we can find some information about the break tag. The first thing to notice is the syntax. The syntax describes how to construct this tag. You'll notice here that there is a syntax for HTML and a syntax for XHTML. Some tags, but not all tags, are different between these two variations of HTML. I've been using the XHTML syntax for these videos. So here we can go down and see that the syntax is a BR contained in opening and closing angle brackets and then after the BR there's a space and a forward slash. XHTML requires its tags to be opened and closed so this space and forward slash is how we close this tag. Next we can look at the usage information. This gives us a description of what this tag is used for in this case, it forces a line break. And then here we have a couple of examples showing how to use this tag. You can see that we have some text here. And then we use the break tag. And then we can follow it by more text. So to take a look at what this looks like, we just need to click this Test It XHTML button. This will take us down to an HTML tester that we can use to easily test our HTML tags. So here you can see that we have some text and then we have our break tag and then we have text that follows it. So to test this out we just need to press the test button here. You'll notice here that we have a line of text and then we start a new line after the break tag that we used up here. I could come up here and add another break tag right in this spot. And then I'll test this again. And now you'll see that we have three lines because we had two breaks. Now let me come up here and remove both of these breaks. And in the source here, I'm also going to press the return key so you'll see now that the source has both of these sentences on two different lines. But since I don't have a break tag in it, when I press the test button, you'll see that all of this is placed on a single line. And I could go back up here and hit enter a couple more times, and it doesn't matter when I test it, this will all still be displayed on a single line this is how these lines will actually be displayed in a web browser. So if I want these to be on different lines, then one way of accomplishing that is to use the break tag. Now you might have noticed that the other tags that we have used so far had separate tags for opening and closing an element. For instance, here's the opening tag for the body section, and here's the closing body tag, or here's an opening tag for the title, and here's the closing title tag. These are called non-empty elements because there is content between the opening and closing tags. On the other hand, the break element is called an empty element because there is not a separate closing tag. Now let's take a look at the paragraph tag. So go over to the left menu here 
and click on the P tag. So let's first look at the syntax section. And you'll notice that there's not a separate description for HTML versus XHTML. That's because the syntax is the same regardless of which standard that you're using. The syntax shows us that we have an opening P tag, and then we have content that we're going to place, and then we have a closing P tag. And the description here tells us that this paragraph tag is used to start a new paragraph. And here's an example of how to use this tag. We start with the opening paragraph tag, and then we put the text that we would like, and then we follow it by a closing paragraph tag. So here let's go ahead and test it with the XHTML style. So again, here's our opening paragraph tag and our closing paragraph tag. So when I press the test button, here you'll notice that I have two lines displayed. And you'll also notice that there's a space between these first two lines because with the paragraph tag it's starting a new paragraph and so it adds a space between the two lines. If I were to come up here and say right in this spot at a break tag and then test it you'll see that after the break the second line is placed close to the first line but then a larger space exists where the next paragraph starts. So then back up in the source, you'll notice that I have two starting and ending paragraph sections. The first one is there, and the second one is here. And now let's take a look at the heading tags. So we can go to the menu here on the left, and you can click on the H1 tag. Here we look at the syntax again. And again, you'll notice that there's not a separate description for HTML and XHTML. So the syntax for both of these are the same. And just like the paragraph tag, we have an opening tag, and then we have content, and then we have a closing tag. And here the description tells us that the heading tags can be used to introduce a section of a web page by providing a short description. There are six levels of headings where H1 is the most important and H6 is the least important. The most important headings are generally rendered using a larger font. And here is an example of all six of the heading tags. And you'll see that they all have an opening heading tag, the content, and then a closing heading tag. So let's go ahead and test it with our XHTML button. So I'll press the test button here. And you'll see that each heading is displayed with a different size font, with H1 being the largest here on the top and H6 being the smallest. And you'll also notice that just like the paragraph tag, each of these lines here will start on a new line. The break, paragraph, and heading tags are all very useful tags that are commonly used with HTML. Well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.